Introducing V-Ray Next for SketchUp, our next generation renderer that is better, smarter, and faster than ever before. V-Ray Next features an improved workflow, smarter tools with V-Ray Scene Intelligence, and many performance optimizations on both CPU and GPU, making this our most powerful release for SketchUp yet. To make managing your scenes easier than ever, we've introduced new robust asset management features and functionality. The new Comprehensive Asset Manager features optimized search functionality, an intuitive folder structure, and UI display levels. You can also easily list and visualize shader hierarchies in a unified way. Now in V-Ray Next, you can alter textures using two color correction curves, without the need for other software. In addition, the new metallic material enables compatibility with PBR workflows from tools such as Substance Designer. You'll also see live swatch previews appear in a single viewer, so you can easily observe how parameter changes affect the appearance of the asset. The V-Ray render settings and camera parameters have also been redesigned to make your workflow more intuitive. To simplify post-production, we have also introduced new render elements for masking and analysis. Using V-Ray Next's new lighting analysis render element, you can now accurately measure the real-world illumination levels in your scene. We have also overhauled the lens effects, with new controls to easily enhance your images using effects like bloom and glare. With V-Ray Next, we've also introduced streamlined workflow optimizations in order to make scene management more efficient. Now you can import any V-Ray VR scene file directly as a SketchUp model with the correct size and position information, making it easy to import scenes into SketchUp from other platforms that use V-Ray. Use the new V-Ray Scene Interaction tool to quickly hover over objects and see their hierarchy and material, as well as navigate the scene hierarchy. In addition, V-Ray Next's clean material and auto-mapping tools make it easier than ever to get the appropriate UVs. Using the Scene Interaction tool, you can also hover over a light and change its intensity right in the viewport. V-Ray Next's new Scene Intelligence features learn about your scene to help you choose the right settings for your projects automatically. With the new Automatic Exposure option, V-Ray now uses adaptive learning techniques to help you render a perfectly exposed image each time. It automatically analyzes your scene and determines the proper exposure, but lets you control the depth of field and motion blur separately. You can also rely on the new Automatic White Balance feature to automatically remove any warm or cold light tint coming from the sun or skylight. Another major new feature of V-Ray Next is the Adaptive Dome Light, which can automatically increase your render speed up to 7 times faster depending on the scene. It also removes the need for setting up skylight portals, significantly speeding up your workflow when setting up interior scenes. With V-Ray Next, we've made major optimizations to speed up production rendering on both CPU and GPU. Out of the box, V-Ray Next renders faster on average thanks to a large number of performance optimizations. The updated internal shader structure in V-Ray for SketchUp also boosts render speeds on CPU and GPU. GPU IPR interactivity is now more responsive and automatically analyzes your scene to optimize rendering, so you get a smoother preview in less time. In addition, V-Ray GPU can now render volumetric effects, giving you a speed advantage over CPU rendering for creating real-world environmental effects like smoke, mist, and fog. We've also added support for more high-end production features in V-Ray Next, such as bucket rendering on GPU. And in order to expand GPU functionality, we now support rendering VR scan materials, with a library containing more than 650 photoreal scanned materials. Now you can render incredibly realistic materials while harnessing the power of GPU. 
In addition, you'll now get nearly instant feedback in IPR with the new and improved denoising functionality. In Vray Next, you can effectively denoise in almost real time while rendering with NVIDIA's AI accelerated denoising technology. Simply set the update frequency parameter to 100% and you'll get the most interactivity possible. Once you're ready to do a final render, simply switch back over to the V-Ray denoiser for production rendering. Using the default V-Ray denoiser, you can now also denoise separate render elements. Simply enable the denoise checkbox for any element, and you'll be able to reconstruct the denoised beauty pass while preserving the image's integrity without resulting in artifacts. Altogether, these are just some of the highlights in V-Ray Next's toolbox, demonstrating how the improved workflow smart new tools, and powerful performance optimizations can take visualizing your designs to the next level. In addition, Vray Next supports the latest SketchUp version 2019. Download our free trial to get started exploring what Vray Next can offer you today.